Um, one of Sam's uh, favorite places in all of Southern California is a place that we've asked viewers to come to today, the Apple Pan in West L.A. He raved about it all the time. Did you ever get the, the burger with him there? I didn't get it with him. I did go eventually. Yes. He, he was upset with me because I didn't have the hickory burger. I know. He said that's the one. You yeah, I had the other one. Yeah. Yeah. Andy, Andy Rosa Ramos is there. She's been there all morning long. And you have talked to the loveliest viewers who have said the sweetest things about what Sam Rubin means to them. Good morning, Andy Rose. Hey, Jess. Hi, Frank. Good morning to you both. We have been so blessed to have so many people come and join us throughout the morning. But before I get to that, Frank, you mentioned something about dating history and being a single gal at KTLA and yes. how Sam was obsessed with being a matchmaker <laughs> while he called himself KTLA's Cupid. Sure. And I want to bring up this email that I got yes. from Sam because he says, Annie Rose, it is true. I am better than Bumble, which again, <laughs> bold, bold statement. And these oh, are the questions is. he asked me because he was like, what is your age range? How old? I told him cradle to grave. I kept the bar low. Any any deal breakers? I was like, criminal record, no problem. Send uh -huh. them my way. Absolutely fine. I lived in Pasadena. That's where I'm from. I live in Santa Monica now. Um, and generally, what time my shift ends? Well, you guys know my shift is en ends at around 11. He was like, no problem. We'll find someone who loves like you know the the mm -hmm. early bird special with you. Now. It's gonna be fine. And he said, it is my top priority yes. my top priority but as a gentle caution and there are far more it. high quality women out there than there are men <laughs> but i am on it and he absolutely was he absolutely did he was ever tell you it. did, did he I tell so you any one of his his uh any rose one of his favorite uh, uh, things to say to women was go young yes did he ever tell you to go young yes. <laughs> Yes, he was a he was a big cheerleader on on one of the guys that asked me out who was a couple years younger, and I was yeah. like, Sam, there you go. I can't do this, and he was like, Absolutely, <laughs> go young. That is the best <laughs> advice I could tell you. It's so true. And Andy Rose, I love it. I didn't know this either, but he was meddling in my own marriage. I found out yep. through Sam, uh, through Ari, that they had a secret text chain. Ari and Sam <laughs> talking about. Oh marriage and things and it was their own secret little uh, conversation but he really he loved love and he, he loved did. when people found love and he was so sentimental wasn't he, he was he was and could cry at the yeah we used to make fun of him of uh, i know yeah. so things like that really touched him so many memories absolutely yeah. you guys and 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 just check it out because i want to show you because yes. look how full this patio has Hi, gotten everybody. in the Good past morning. couple of minutes so many people here all with their own special story when it comes to sam and it has been such a pleasure to listen to every single one of them i have i have here i'm gonna get in here because i'm gonna I, i'm gonna get in because i, oh. I want to hear everything but <laughs> craig i want to bring you in because you went to school with Sam. You knew him since, what, the seventh grade, or what was it? Uh, I went to school with Sam from seventh to twelfth grade. We were in Emerson Junior High together. Oh, my gosh. We were at Uni High together and had a lot of classes. And I think the last time I saw Sam was at the Apple Pan. Of course. You know? Uh, 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 yes, of course. And, and uh, you know, I got a real kick out of seeing on TV every day, watch, the, watch you guys every morning. And, you know, not necessarily brag, but anytime, you know, I saw him on TV and there was someone else, I'm like, I went to school with Sam Rubin. <laughs> and, you know, he just had a great personality. It's interesting to see how he evolved from what I knew him as growing up. I mean, he always had that personality, but he didn't necessarily picture him being, uh, you know, where he ended up and in, in being on the air for 35 years. But I thought he was great. And I love all the outpouring um, from the celebrities to all of us that are here, to you guys, yeah. uh, you know, it's just, yeah. he was a one of a kind and it's, it just makes you appreciate life also, seeing, seeing how quickly it can go. Now, Carlos, I, I thank you, Craig. Uh, Carlos, you drove in just now from Santa Clarita to yeah, talk Santa to Clarita. us. Yes, I did. Thank you so yeah. much. Thank you for doing that. Yeah, I know of course. It's not close. Yeah, I've never uh, been in the Apple Pan, but I always wanted to come, and so I, fi I figured why not, especially for this moment, to honor, you know, someone that I always grew up watching, you know, for over thirty something years, and so I was just drawn and, and to come here. So here I am to show support and and love for him, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm so grateful you did. Now, you know, 
Kelly, I, you came in and you were telling me a little bit about the high fives. Right. Uh, last month I was with uh, Spotted Lauren and we did the, uh, the high five and I really wanted to come out today and do a special high five for Sammy. Highest five ever! Yeah! <laughs> I love it. I love it. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. I, I mean, there's, I mean, the list goes on and on. I mean, the, there have been so many people trickling in. I'm moving around. I'm moving around. Sir, you just came in. Yeah. Hi. Hi. How Hi. you doing? Thank you so much for joining us. Tell me a little bit about your Sam memory. I met Sam when our, my daughter and his kids went to Wilshire Boulevard school together. Yeah. And, uh, I would all, he would invite me and our, my family over to his house in Brentwood to break bread. He was a special individual. <laughs> I only live a couple blocks here from the apple pan. I just got off a plane from Nashville, Tennessee, and I happened to catch this on Facebook. And I said, before I go home, I need to pay tribute to a man who was so special and so loving to so many people. <laughs> I'm so glad you're here. Me too. Yeah. Thank you so much for sharing. Thank you so much. Straight from Nashville. Pessy, tell me. I know, and you brought the dog, and all of you ladies are Sam's biggest fan club behind me. Tell me. Um, my condolences go out to KTLA, his family, you guys. I've been watching you for 30 years now already. I just, it was a shocker and it's a heartbreak to lose such a wonderful man who um, gave us all of, um, of what he had um, as far as personality, mm -hmm. entertainment, um, may he rest in peace and um, may you guys just move on to the next level um, from the bottom of my heart. Oh. So, you know, I, 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 it's not easy. I certainly understand. But like, um, you know what? Um, all I can say is at least Sam did not have to suffer when he passed. And that is, that is an enormous gift from God um, that uh, he did not have to suffer at all. Thank so you so Bella much. And I wish Bella, KTLA thank you. everything the best. Thank you so much. It was so sweet. And we have so many more showing up, all to share their memories of Sam at his favorite place, one of his favorite places in LA at the Apple Pan. We'll send it back to you guys in the studio. Annie Rose, uh, please thank everyone for us. That, that means uh, a lot to us, and I'm sure to his, uh, his family as well. So thank you.